Good evening, everyone. So, I posted this scene on Reddit, and it seems like it's popular enough to warrant a tutorial. So, here it is. I'm breaking down the tutorial to six videos to make it easy to follow along. Feel free to skip the video to find what you're looking for. For this video, I'm going to talk solely about bridges. And I don't mean the bridges you see outside, I mean this, and this. Although Blender is now thriving with more and more updates frequently coming in, there are still many more softwares more specialized in handling specific tasks. And although I can understand the appeal of open source software, I don't like being limited by two sets and I think it's important for artists to be more focused on the creative aspects of projects and much less the technical aspects. The tools and softwares I'll be introducing today has helped me tremendously in my workflow and I've deemed it important enough to dedicate a video just to talk about it. Note that this is just an introductory video about these tools to get you more familiar with it before I further elaborate how I use them in my workflow in my subsequent videos. However, I also understand how some of you might feel reluctant to use the party software or just prefer sticking entirely to Blender. So I'll also introduce some Blender add-on alternatives I've personally used prior to using these softwares. Well, with that out of the way, let's get started. First off, Prism UV Bridge. Prism UV is a fully fledged UV mapping software dedicated entirely to UVs. It's easily the fastest UV mapping software you can pick up featuring advanced yet intuitive tool sets for all aspects of UV mapping. With the Resum UV Bridge, transitioning between Blender and Resum UV becomes literally seamless, allowing you to automatically export and import UVs with a single click. There's two versions of Resum UV, virtual spaces and real spaces. If you want to create anything CG, games, animations, VFX, anything that's on screen, Virtual Spaces is all you need. Real Spaces is an upgraded version of Virtual Spaces with all of Virtual Spaces functionalities, plus more features primarily dedicated to engineers specializing in real-world applications like laser surface texturing and pet printing. But again, if you don't plan on doing any of this engineering stuff, just get Virtual Spaces. I personally got Virtual Spaces. All right, next up, we're gonna talk about Substance Painter Live Link. Substance Painter is the go-to industry standard software for texturing your models. It's amazing how easy and quickly you'll be able to create high quality textures using just the basic tools. Using a layer system similar to Photoshop, you can stack textures like wear, grunge, logos, and even blend and mix textures together. If you're familiar with Substance Painter and have done the traditional way of exporting a model from Blender to texture in Substance Painter, or if you've actually done any traditional methods of manually creating a material in Blender, you are going to really appreciate this exists. With this Blender to Substance Painter bridge, you can instantly export a model from Blender directly into Substance Painter, and vice versa, have the texture from Painter imported directly into Blender with all the materials already automatically set up. I understand this software has take time to learn, but I firmly believe that if I had the time to keep on repeating my process in mixing textures to create more complex shaders in Blender, I had the time to learn Substance Painter. The same applies to Resum UV. If you plan to work with Blender long term, absorbing more softwares into your workflow that speeds up your creation process will save you more time in the long run. Right. Thirdly, we'll be talking about Quixel Bridge. Quixel Bridge is a free software allowing you to export Megascans assets directly into your software of choice, Blender included. With Megascans, you have access to professionally curated 3D assets and materials, perfect for quickly populating your scene with minimal input. When I first started out with 3D, I wanted to make everything myself, and that still stands today. However, I feel it has become more important for me to focus on the elements I really want to create, instead of the secondary elements like rocks and backgrounds, you know, the details in the, in the background nobody will really notice. Having a high quality asset library like Megascans helps me focus my efforts in creating elements that actually requires my individual input, yet still maintains a professional standard across all assets that don't. Well, Megascans have very affordable rates to their library and it's 100% free for use with Unreal Engine. All right, finally, there's Connector. Similar to Quixel Bridge, you can export assets and materials directly into Blender except Connector doesn't come with its own 
asset library. Connector acts more of an asset manager for artists to organize their own models and materials across various softwares. As a 3D artist, it's a good habit to create your own asset library and Connector is the perfect software to do just that. I've personally amassed hundreds of assets over the years and I've compiled the ones I commonly use in Connector. I'm able to filter my assets with the tagging and color code features, find either 3D models or materials I need, and with the Connector to Blender integration, Appending these assets is as easy as dragging and dropping them into your scene. It even has the functionality to view Substance Painter substar files, but I don't really use it much since I mainly use Connector with Blender and 3ds Max. Well, simply register for a Design Connector account and you can download Connector from the Design Connector official website entirely for free. I'll include all the links in the description. Alright, I understand there are many people uncomfortable with picking up a new software or would prefer pick working solely in Blender. So here's a quick list of some alternatives I've personally used prior to being exposed to the aforementioned softwares. Before Resolve UV, I will cut well my models in Blender and use the UV Pack Master 2 add-on to pack my UVs. UV Pack Master has been the number one UV packing add-on available in Blender even more so now with the UV Pack Master 3 updates. It features automatic packing with advanced heuristics options, automatic pixel paddings, and even comes with UDIM support. Although it only deals with the packing aspects of UVs and isn't as feature-rich as Resum UV, it is still an extremely powerful tool to speed up your UV workflow in Blender. When it comes to texturing, I use the add-on Rapid PBR Material Creator to automatically create shaders from texture sets I downloaded online. I also have the option to use add-ons like Material Lake and Extreme PBR Pro that comes with its own massive material library to quickly apply various shaders. Well, while we're on the subject of asset libraries, I've also used Botanic and Terrascape to quickly populate my scene with plants and trees. Traffic for vehicles and the interior essentials for indoor furniture and details. For lighting my scene, I have the add-on HDRI Maker to quickly apply and visualize a wide variety of HDRIs for my scene, as well as Pro Lighting Skies and Pro Lighting Studio, which I use depending on the case-by-case -case basis. If you haven't got any asset libraries of your own build up yet, these add-ons that come with its own asset library is a good way to start and integrate into your workflow. Whew, wow. That's it for this video. Next up, I'll talk more about Resum UV and Substance Painter and how I use them in my workflow to create this underwater vehicle. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Yes! I'm done.